with DeAnthony Thomas, a wide receiver, defensive back for Crenshaw High School. And also we're here with Hayes Pullard, linebacker for Crenshaw High School. Uh, DeAnthony, a couple questions for you first. You know, you had an amazing game. Um, I know it's early on in the recruiting process. Well, I'm feeling good about it. My mom feeling good about it. I'm just, I'm just here to play ball, finish this, my last junior season, head on to my uh, senior season without Hayes, like big players like Geno, Greg, uh, Jeffrey Norwood, um, Lejean Baker. I just, I just got to, this is my last time without them, and I, I love these guys. These, these are my role models. All right, so a question for you, Hayes. Uh, you're having a great senior season. Um, you're... You're getting recruited heavily by USC. How, how strong would you say you are in your commitment to the Trojans? Uh, I'm real strong with my commitment. Um, right now, they one of my top choices. I'm very happy that they one of my top choices because I've been wanting to uh, go there for a long time, and that's about it. Uh, what other schools are taking a look at you, or have you received uh, scholarship offers from? Uh, Notre Dame, Washington, Washington State, UCLA, Arizona State, Arizona, and Colorado. Okay, so you got a lot of schools looking after you. Um, what advice would you give to other student athletes who are undergoing the recruiting process? Uh, take the SAT. That's the main focus. Make sure you re uh, take the A, uh, A through G requirements, be able to keep a 3.0 or higher because you never know what you're going to get on your SAT, and be able to have fun on the field at all times. Uh, and that's about it. That's great advice, and we're definitely all about school at collegelevelathletes.com. Uh, DeAnthony, for yourself, I know you're preparing for track season. Um, is, does that help you a lot in the offseason to prepare for football? Um, yes, yes, it, it really do help me, basically, because, like, well, track is one of my sports, but track, football is my, one of my main sports, but I use track just to stay conditioned for football and get stronger and stuff like that. I know you finished pretty high in the state last year in the 100 meters. you think you're going to take over the crown this year? Yeah, I'm taking over the crown this year. My junior year, I got to take over the crown. Okay, another question for you, Hayes. You had an amazing block um, on that one of those last touchdowns. I believe it was Jeffrey Norwood's touchdown in the end zone. Can you walk us through that play? Uh, I just knew that it was my time to be able to block for one of my bros. I know it. I can't say I all the time. I can't score every play. I got to be able to show the shine for other people. So I know I got to block for my uh, best friends all over the field. Okay, you guys are going into bye week this week. Uh, how do you think you're going to prepare yourself during that bye week? Uh, we're going to stay conditioned, do strengthen, uh, strengthening every day, work out our offense, uh, make sure we stay fundamentally sound on both sides of the ball, be able to uh, look at film and uh, learn from our mistakes that we did. Well, you know what it sounds like? You know, you mentally prepared for the game, um, obviously physically prepared. You guys dominated it out there today, but we want to thank you from collegelevelathletes.com for taking your time out for the interview, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dan. All right, brother. All right.